What a beautiful looking manager's chair. A masterpiece from top to bottom. What's up everybody, this is KG. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Westcliff Bonded Leather Manager's Chair. This is sold by Staples. So I've actually purchased this chair before and I've had one for over five years and it's doing a really good job. And I have another desk setup that I'm doing and I needed another chair so I went to the same one. So I have this one here ready to open, unbox, put together in front of you. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is that online it shows it as the Staples Westcliff Bonded Leather Manager's Chair Brown. The full regular price of it in Canadian dollars is about 280 bucks. Uh, it does come on sale 250, sometimes 230. I've seen it come on sale for those prices. Um, so it's something you want to keep an eye out if it comes on sale. Now, when you look at the actual box, it says Westcliff Computer and Desk Chair brown bonded leather seating surface. So they call it a manager's chair online, but when you get it, it says computer and desk chair. So a little bit difference there. Now when you look at the box from the side, it gives you some dimensions. It shows 28.6 inches wide, 32.2 inches front to back, and top to bottom it goes between 43.8 inches to 46.7 inches. So those are the dimensions of the chair. Now let's open up the box and get to work. Okay, the box is now open. Let's start taking out some of the pieces in here. So these look like two arm pieces here. Here's a box piece. It has instructions in here as well as all the little extra pieces and screws and things like that. You got your wheels. This looks like the legs. Control mechanism. This looks like the backrest portion of the chair and the portion of the chair where you sit down. So that's all the pieces straight out of the box. So as you can see, these things are wrapped up really nicely, keeping them in good condition. So he, you can see here, this is one of the arms in good shape. Looks nicely wrapped, so it's not damaged at all. Your second one here, we got their bubble wrap and another shiny arm piece here. So as you can see in here, everything is wrapped up pretty nicely. So I'll, I'll get to opening them and then I will continue. Okay, so I've unwrapped everything now and it's all sitting in front of you. You got your base portion here, five wheels here. This is your seat cushion. Everything's in great shape. The good thing about this cushion here is like extra cushiony compared to other manager chairs or office chairs. I've never had a problem sitting with these. It's been really comfortable and really cushy. Uh, and that's another reason why I'm buying another one right now. And it has good lumbar support on it. And again, really cushy and fluffy. So you can already kind of see that when it's sitting here. And when I test it out later, I'll show you in more detail. Now you've got your armrest here. You got your underneath control piece here, which is gonna allow you to tilt the chair and move it up and down. You got your hydraulic portion here, and this is like the cover and the hydraulic is underneath. And all your little screws and parts to help put your chair together are here, plus instruction booklet on how to put everything together. So this here is the instruction booklet. It gives a number for the chair, 60405. And if I open it up, so on the first page here, you get some general information about the chair, the features of the chair and how to use it, how to bring it up, put it down, tilt it, etc. All the different parts you should have in there. And again, assembly, how to put it together, showing you here how to start with the feet first, then the hydraulics, and then the upper chair will go on later. And here's the section showing you how to put the upper chair together, the seat, the backrest, the arms, and the controls underneath and then how to install it on top of the feet afterwards. And this shows you the final steps of how to put everything together and what the finished product should look like. And then on the final page, it gives you some warranty information. So one thing that makes this a lot easier is that the instruction manual gives you 
different letters and in this package everything is labeled so you know what goes where and it makes it easier to put everything together. So that is definitely a bonus and makes it easy. So this is your bottom leg here. It has five sides to it and you have five wheels. So you gotta pop the wheels on the bottom. So if we flip this upside down, you will see the five different spots. Let's put the wheels on one by one. So you pop them in and you just snap it into place. Two, three, four, and five. So we've got our base ready to go, already rolling here. So again, this is very, very easy to put together. The next thing is you want to put the hydraulics. So the hydraulics come in two pieces. This is your main hydraulic piece and this is like a cover piece that goes on top just to kind of hide it when it's assembled. So this is very easy. You take this and you just drop it in the middle, right here. And the cover just goes right on top and you just let it rest like so. And when you adjust the hydraulics later on, this thing will move up and down with it and keep it hidden in here. So that's it. Your base is already ready to go. The next part is putting the upper half together. So let's do that. Now one thing to keep in mind with the upper half is that it all goes together almost like one piece. So you have your two armrests and both of them have four screw holes in it. Two bottom screw holes and two upper screw holes. The upper two will go into the backrest and the bottom two will go into where you sit, your seat. So two go into the seat, two go into the backrest portion on both sides and it will put it together. So if I pull up my seat rest here, you will see you got two screw holes here on both sides, on this side as well. So those are going to be your bottom two for both of the armrests. And then when I pull up this portion, you will see there's two holes on this side and two holes on this side for the upper section of the armrests. And these here are the screws that are going to go in and also cap covers so that they don't show once you put them in later on. So this is a close up of one of the screws. You got a tool that comes in here with it and you can use it to crank it and, and tighten it. So that's how we're gonna do it. What I wanna do is actually get all eight screws in loosely and then I will tighten them up together. So that way everything's kind of together and then we tighten it all up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna start with this bottom section here first. Just getting it in lightly. Next one in now. That one in lightly as well. So don't want to tighten it up too much. Just get it in so that it's kind of in. And then I want to put the back portion in. So you just got to find a way to align it a bit so that you can get your screw in. Just enough so that it catches. You put your fourth screw in. And you kind of got to eye it, align it. Just get it to catch. There you go. So you got four in so far. Then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Got one. Get it to catch. And then the same thing in the back. You kind of got to lift it a bit and get it to align. It's cut and the final one over here more or less aligned at this point so this one's a little bit easier to catch typically this one's going in pretty easy so now that all eight pieces are in we can slowly tighten them all up okay so now I've tightened up all eight screws really tight this chair is in nice and snug next thing we're gonna do is put the caps on here so you can see there's four holes here and if I bring this up close to the camera, this is a cap, so you will not be able to see the screw afterwards. And it also matches the wood looking finish on here, so it's going to match it all up and make it look nice. So let's pop these in.
Now these are a little bit tough to push in. Sometimes it's really tight and snug. So what you may want to do is take a hammer and maybe some light cloth and just tap it to help it to go in fully, which is what I'm going to do just now. So yeah, they are a little bit hard if your fingers are having a bit of a hard time. I just take a towel and a hammer and just lightly tap just to get them fully in. So I'll put it over top and just lightly tap it. That'll bring it in. And then lightly tap this one. Lightly tap this one. And they're in. That's it. Perfect. So now these are on. Let's flip it around. And I'm going to lightly tap them into place. So all four caps are on on this side as well. So the next piece we got to add in here is our bottom piece which is going to allow us to bring the chair up and down and tilt it back and forth. For this we got to flip the chair upside down. Okay so if you're looking at it over here there's two holes over here and two holes over here. So our instruction booklet says we have to put it on this way. So you have this round circular portion facing towards the front of the chair. And then you have A screws go in here, which are longer ones, and B screws go in here, which are shorter ones. So these are your A screws and these are your B screws. A's go towards the front of the chair, B's cool go towards the back of the chair. So first thing I want to do once again is get all four screws in so that it's kind of balanced. So we can start with this, the long ones up in the front, this side. Get it going. B screws at the back, put those in, and, and you got all four screws in, and then you can continue to tighten them with your tool. Okay, so now I've tightened all four screws. This is in nice and snug, it's not gonna go anywhere. So this is your tension adjustment. This is for the tilt. You can turn it, it tells you right here, tight, you gotta turn it clockwise. To loosen it, you gotta turn it anti-clockwise. So this is later on when you're trying to tilt this or give it a stronger or looser tilt, you can adjust it from underneath afterwards from here. You will see this hole here, this hole has to go where the hydraulic is on the bottom part where we're gonna attach it. So the hydraulic has to go right into this portion here and then we are gonna have the whole chair put together at that point. Okay, so this is your hydraulic portion right here. You have to get the bottom of the chair to line up with that and put it on top. So let's see if we can line it up. Okay, so I put it on. Let me just back it up so you can kind of see the full picture. Okay, so you can see the full chair over here. In order to finish it off, I've actually got to sit on it so that it snaps into place with the bottom portion and it becomes one chair. And then we can test the hydraulics and the tilt right after. So in order to finish this off, I'm going to sit on it and that makes it snug with the bottom and then I can, there's a side hydraulic piece here, if I push it, it brings the chair right up. So now it's fully raised. So it's ready to be used and I can adjust it a little bit. See the hydraulic lets you pump down a bit. And then this side piece here, if you pull it out, it allows you to tilt backwards and forward. And if you push it in, then it locks you in place. So you cannot tilt. You can only go up and down. So that's pretty much the functionality of it. There's not too much. It's up and down. And if you want to tilt, you can tilt back and forth. And like I showed you earlier, you can tighten or loosen that round piece underneath to make it harder to tilt or make it easier to tilt. The setting on it right now is actually quite comfortable for me, so I wouldn't even adjust it. It's a good tilt um, strength. So you can tilt back, you can see how far I can tilt on it. it. Gives me a decent tilt. Again, the cushion on it, I love it. 
I've had this chair before so I already knew the arm cushions are really cushy as well. It cannot be adjusted higher or lower but it's a setting that at least it works for me. I'm about 5'9", 5 5'10", 5 and this chair works out really well for me. Good headrest on it, good lumbar support, good cushion support for my bum, and good height adjustment as well. So I can bring it a little bit higher if I want. Now my feet are just a little bit off the ground so just pop it down a bit and this is perfect for me. So I'm very happy with this chair. It moves around, no problem. So like I said, I've had this chair previously. I've had it over five years now, the other one. It's just starting to show a little bit of wear and tear on the, the leather, um, but it's still in good shape. It's still like very minor wear and tear on it. Um, and maybe a little bit of peeling right at the edge here. Um, but overall it's still holding up strong after five years and I use that chair regularly. So I'm assuming this chair is going to last me the same amount of time or longer. The hydraulics on it are fine. They haven't gone bad. I have had other office chairs where the hydraulic kind of went bad on it. It is kind of hit or miss sometimes with the hydraulics. They, they can go. Um, and there are kind of fixes for that too. I've had some DIY type fixes where you put like a a plumbing pipe but you got to set it at the exact height you want in order to have the chair permanently stay at a certain height so there are fixes for that but you kind of want the hydraulics to last so for this chair I've never had a problem with the hydraulics um, so they they lasted for many years and this is my second one so this is round two again a nice brown bonded leather finish and um, very comfortable. So I have no real complaints about it. Um, it is a decent chair. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it. If I was to give it a score out of 10, I would probably give it like a 8.5 or a 9. Like I really, really like it. Um, I'm sure there may be a better chair out there, but for me, it's decent. The price range is a little bit pricey, but you can get it on sale once in a while. So if you wait it out a bit, you can find it on sale. Uh, still not that cheap, but it's, it's decent quality. And you know, you, you always want to get something with decent quality that will last you a number of years. So you got to pay a little bit of money for that. So I think it's worth it. And it is a decent chair and I'm looking forward to using it. And that's pretty much it for this. It's not too complicated. Like I said, you just have the tilt feature in there and you have the hydraulic feature. So if you're using those, those are your main two features and you can get hours and hours of great use out of it. You won't feel uh, like, I, I had another office chair where my bum started to hurt after a while because it wasn't enough cushion in it. I don't think you'll get that with this one. You can just sink into it almost like, it feels almost like a sofa kind of seating. So it's really, really comfortable. So that is my review on the Staples Westcliff Bonded Leather Manager's Chair. If you have any comments, please leave them below for me in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so and remember to hit the bell button so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Take care and we'll see you again next time. Take care, peace out. Bye.